what up boys and welcome back to another video so in this series i am showing you guys how i farm well pretty much all the dungeons that i'm farming right now and have been farming for many years and the whole idea is to talk about like why you should farm it like what can you potentially get or why shouldn't you farm it but people still do right and i've featured uh, all of these dungeons for years now but i've mainly focused on what i have received like for instance when i've done like a hundred runs of a dungeon and i've shown you guys the loot however sometimes you're only scraping the surface of what you could truly get from that dungeon so these videos have been gratefully received by you guys and there's a lot of people who are new to the channel that haven't seen me do them and there's some people who just likes to be updated on the loot table of these dungeons but i'm going to take you guys through like how i do it like how i do the route of the dungeon and then we're going to talk about like why you should do it uh, and some tips and tricks and so on. So before we do that, I do want to mention you guys can still get the 0 to 10 million gold guy 50% off by using the code Shadowlands. And if you're planning on uh, playing a TBC Classic, I made a full book on how to make gold in TBC. It's already 80 pages long and I intend to keep on updating uh, this book as well. So if you guys buy the book now... You guys are, of course, going to get every single update that I do to the book for free, sent automatically to your mail. So link to that is down below in the description. So I'm doing this on a druid, and I use bear tatar because, well, it helps a tiny bit. And this is also a speed set druid, uh, so it's fast. When it comes to class, you definitely want to do it on a relatively fast tube because LBRS, it's quite a long dungeon. Some people do like jump drops where they jump directly down. I know that was very popular when everyone wanted the Shadow Weave masks. They just rushed to the spiders to try and get the uh, the spider silk or shadow silk to craft those masks. But the first uh, chest that you guys want to look out for is by this wagon right here. That is the first potential spawn. Second one is the one that is currently up in this corner right here. And if that one is not up, then you have two additional spawn points further in. One of them can be in this corner right here. And if that one is not up, it's most likely going to be right here. So this is another spawn point. And then after killing these guys, I hate that uh, you have the AOE cap now. It's annoying. I always go when I kill these Oogie Boogie uh, people right here. Because I got time to do it with my speed set druid. Obviously, now when I take you guys through a run of uh, how I do LBRS, it's going to be slightly slower than if I just focus and try to do it as fast as possible. But it's fully doable to do uh, 10 runs in an hour. So when I'm on this bridge, I always aim for this uh, brazier thingy. And I like jump on top of it. So like right now, I don't have a lot of speed. It makes it slightly tougher. But jump on top of this one. Just spam jump. And then you do this shortcut right here. Because you definitely want to go in and you want to kill these uh, these trolls. They can also drop uh, the, uh, the mojo that sells for quite a bit. The crafting region. So clear all of these. Go in. You want to kill the boss as well. It's important that you get as many kills as you can from the dungeon. And using the route that I do. I guess I kill like 98% of the mobs. Kill that pack. And then you want to kill the patrol. And you want to go down and you want to kill another boss right here. Uh, I am, by the way, normally looting when I do the dungeon. This is just me showing the route. So there's another spawn, uh, like a potential spawn right here with this pack. Or it could be over here where I'm uh, hovering the, the mouse right now. And if those aren't up, then it's going to be, as you can see on uh, the map right now, in either this corner right here. If it's not up right there, it's going to be right here in the middle. So one of those three locations is definitely going to be up. And then we go over to killing these orcs in this area. And now we're at the location where some people do, uh, do jump runs. And they just jump down right here in this area. So we want to kill all of these mobs right here. Definitely want to kill the rare elite that could spawn down here. Uh, he could drop one of the specific items to LBRS that we will talk about. And this is another spawn point for a chest. And if this one isn't up, you uh, might have a good chance at getting the chest that could spawn in this corner right here. Like all the way in this corner, there's a potential uh, chest spawn point. So there's a lot of chests in this dungeon. A lot of them and we're not even done yet. 
Kill the spiders. They do drop the spider silk, as I mentioned. So uh, that always sells nicely. Uh, and if you have like tailoring, for instance, it's uh, it comes in handy to hold those. So kill all the... Uh, that was intended, that jump. That's how you increase your RNG. So you definitely want to make sure you do one of those. And then... Let's see. Killing these guys. You got to use your AOE a couple of times. Because when you kill the big spiders, they spawn the tiny spiders. And then we're closing in on more Oogie Boogies. And there's a potential chest spawn right behind this guy. Right here. It could be... Uh, a chest right there so i always aggro these uh these packs of these small mobs because they have the same chance of giving you like a really good item uh like an epic for instance as these elites like there's so many of them so you definitely want to pull them and then you want to take a left and you want to kill these guys because there could be a chest right here yep there we have it and then the mobs tiny guys are going to come at you you can also skin these guys and then actually just skip this uh this boss you know like these guys right here i don't know why i just i never do it and then i go into uh, clearing all of these guys every single one of them and then you have a potential chest spawn in this corner right here and if that one is not up you could be lucky and you could find a chest that is up in this corner right here and that was it for chest spawns, but there's a lot of them, so that's kind of cool. That's what I love about this dungeon. Well, one of the things that I love about the dungeon. And then you're almost done killing these last mobs right here. And you always, always want to go for the last boss. Uh, so whenever you kill this last boss, you if it's easy when you're a druid because you could just use uh, like Dreamwalk. And you use it twice to pour it out and then back in again. Same with like some someone like a monk. But if you are uh, playing like a level 50 tune and you're not playing a druid or like a monk, you can just simply sign up in the pre-made the group finders. Like just make a group, disband the group, and you will be poured it out after a one minute uh, countdown. So that was one run of LBRS. Now the question is like, why would you do LBRS? Because it doesn't actually have any specific transmog items. LBRS has no BOE sellable specific transmog items. So it's kind of like a strange dungeon to do because you can go to similar dungeons with almost the same world drop loot table, but they also have specific... Uh, blue items or transmog items to that dungeon dropping however lbrs has two blacksmithing plants that specific to the dungeon that's why i said you should always do the last boss because the last boss has a chance of dropping the arcanite champion so this is the uh the fully crafted weapon and this is the plan it's currently going for 100,000 gold on my realm so only the last boss can drop that one and then you have the arcanite reaper you can see the plan is not that good it used to be good but people spammed the jump runs and they got it fairly easily but on some realms it's still uh, expensive with the arcanite reaper but the arcanite champion that's where the gold is at so that's one reason to do lbrs the second reason is obviously Depends on the price of the Shadow Silk on your realm, but you do get a really good amount of Shadow Silk uh, when you do 10 runs of LBRS in an hour. So, the reason, uh, another reason, the re and the reason why I love LBRS is because I've been so lucky getting World Drop Epics in it. It's the perfect level to get uh, Epics such as the Cloud Keeper Leg Plates, Skull Flame Shield, you have uh, the Destiny, for instance. That's like the best the world drop epic items. But you also have blue items like Orb of Deception that can drop in the dungeon. And the green items that drops in LBRS and similar dungeons like BRD are going to be the, uh, the Ebonhold set. You have the Imbued Plate set. You have Albaster set. And then you got specific greens. Uh, they're world drop greens, but they're not a part of like a super set. But you have like the elegant robe and pretty much every like cowboy looking hat. There's a ton of those dropping in LBRS together with like eye patches. And we're talking about headpieces that have a 0 0.05 and all the way up to like a 0 0.12 sell rate. They, they sell super fast. So that is why you should 
or shouldn't do LBRS. I personally love the dungeon because I like RNG and I just... I just, it just feels smooth to run through the dungeon with all the chests and whatnot, so I kind of like running it. However, you could uh, argue that LBRS is not as good as something like BRD, for instance, where you have like Dark Ironor that you can mine and you can also get Blood of the Mountain. And then you can also uh, obtain uh, like specific blue items that drops in BRD. Uh, like as well as all the items that I just mentioned, but not the Arcanite Champion or the Reaper though. But it's such a great and fun dungeon to do, so I still think that you guys should go out and test it. But that's pretty much it for LBRS and why you should do it. So if you still like this series, then make sure to press that thumbs up. It really helps me out, me and the channel, and I would appreciate it. And I will see all of you guys back in on tomorrow's video. But until then, bye bye.